They'll be calling me royalty Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Imola for yet another championship race at IRC Tier 1. We are here in Italy for our race of the season in Imola. It's a race with 32 laps that await us, 19 turns down this historic lap. The Emilia-Romagna Grand Prix is a historic stop in the F1 circus. A track that's got plenty of potential for action and some real racing awaits us. So, Tanish, what do you think? How is this race going to play out? What are the possible strategies that can come about? What do you think are the ways that the racing is going to occur? Are they going to wait? What's that I see? A wet race? Does this just make it more interesting, Tanish? Yeah, I mean, definitely. Because as I can see, drivers are already in the quali session. So I think it's time to directly jump to the quali and see whatever is happening on the track. And see what drivers are planning to do. But yeah. I am expecting a pretty interesting session for the quali at least because again this track is known for very good qualifying and again the amount of skill that these guys have at least the top five people from what I know it's gonna be very very close but I'm expecting Moto to come out on top among, the, among these guys so yeah let's see what's gonna happen. Yeah, I think Moto is definitely a very strong contender for a pole here. And seeing as they're on the extreme wet tires, full wet, full wet tires rather, it's definitely going to be very interesting. While we are putting Moto and a few other drivers ahead, we really don't know who will come out ahead. A lot of the drivers on their outlap, it's critical that they get all the tire temperature they can, get it in the right window and get their tires working. Because trust me, they do not want to go out on cold tie, colder tires than normal in the wet because they'll just go off into the gravel and first sector, if you miss your turns, very punishing indeed. Yeah, definitely. As right now we are on board with Archit who is going through the first chicken. was a bit wobbly on the exit but the wet weather is not making it easier which is understandable. And as he goes through the next chicane which is uh, which will end the sector one and let's see what time we put 28 0 well the track map shows purple not sure how reliable that is but yeah i think that was a decent first sector from him yeah i mean he can definitely go a few tens faster because of that wobble on the exit so we are going to see much faster and and there again he lost a little bit of the rear coming into that chicane uh, so it'll be interesting to see what are the representative lap times. Okay, we've got a yellow flag in. It is gonna 123.9. Okay, that's amazing. 123.9 is not something I expected at all. Uh, he has definitely broken everything that I've thought up so far. So simply is definitely a strong contender for pole. Red to 23.8. Must oh my so... god. I, I cannot mean... place any bets at this point. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't even tell a single name. Who knows, Govind sir might get to pole at this point. It's so confusing. Although I'm yep. probably too optimistic on that. 
anyone can get pole. Like I see Arada improving to P3, and I, there are a lot of cars who haven't crossed the start finish line yet. So it's quality done for Moto Moto. I think he messed up his final lap, so he wasn't able to get the representative lap time in those final few minutes. So he'll be starting P7 as of now, and it's time to see who else can improve and maybe go somewhere close to red, or it's red who got the pole finally. SHS Asin retires from Quali, and right now we are seeing Akash Sonawane, who is on a lap, I believe, but he doesn't have battery. Still improving, he's three tenths up on his current lap. So let's see what's the final game that he can get when he'll cross the finish line. All to play for. P1 is looking a bit too far right now. It's two, three corners left for him. Let's see if he can hook the car together and get a decent lap time and maybe move to the top three spots for this quality session. And Akashanon is about to cross the start finish line and he moves to P4. That's a decent improvement from him. But yeah, it looks like quality is done for us. Yeah, that was exhilarating, wasn't it? And not to mention, Red is currently third in the Drivers' Championship. So a pole and a good start would really help him there. Definitely. Championship is again the bigger game in the picture. So as many good start like good starting place in quali and good results in race is definitely something that one driver would hope for in the quest for the championship. But yeah, right now the red was seriously the underdog today because I was seriously not expecting I was I, I should say I was expecting a McLaren to be on pole. But that guy just came out of nowhere and snatched that pole time from simply. So yeah, amazing stuff from him. Truly, that was in an incredible lap from Red. And so we'll have a look at our top five currently. It's Red in the Mercedes on pole, simply whitely on the front row in the McLaren. And we've got a few other drivers as well. It's a very diverse top five. It's a very diverse grid that we have. Something we didn't expect. An underdog taking pole. Moto Moto, the favorite is not even in the first or second row but look out for him in the race and i think he might just end up on the podium if not the win and i can see a very strong performance from mclaren as well that would help them in the constructors championship which they are currently leading and mercedes with red can also make an improvement alfa tori is also placed fairly fine although one of their drivers is in the bottom half if they can make a good recovery drive that will certainly help him quite a lot now, race, what do you think will happen? What are the tyre strategies that are going to come into play here? I think there can be anything that can happen, but the most favourite strategy in the dry conditions would be hard to mediums or maybe medium to hards unless there is a safety car. So, yeah, I, there's not a lot of strategies that one can use, but definitely safety car can spice things up. Certainly, and safety cars are a very common occurrence. Okay, we have got a wet race ahead of us, is it? So yes. that just turned the entire thing on its head. I don't oh. think anyone's going to be starting on medium or hards. Let's see. I think we missed to check out the race conditions for the at the start of the quali session. So yeah, it was a wet race. And again, the drivers must have gone to the wet setups even in quali because they don't have to worry about the race since it's in the same conditions. So yeah, uh, by the looks of it, it looks like the race can be started on inters. So I'm expecting drivers to start on inters. But yeah, first corner, inter conditions, Imola, first chicken, not a very good place to for the cars to go side by side, especially those sausage curbs on the apex. I am definitely expecting something interesting to happen there. We don't even need to mention something interesting because everyone's got the picture in their heads already. Yes. Uh, be interesting. The stewards will definitely be keeping their eyes on at least turn one, lap one, <laughs> and the okay. rest of the race as well. Given it's a wet race, a lot of occurrences can come. Recovery drives in such circumstances will be tough. But given the wet conditions, you will be helped if someone loses the rear, spins out, because from there as well, recovering is very tough. So anything can happen, to be fair. It's just as such. As we're going to yeah. be waiting for our drivers, they're getting ready. Sorry about yeah. that. Yeah, it's fine, definitely. So, right now it would be Red who will lead into the turn one from Simply. I'm not sure if he'll really lead till the turn one or not because sometimes the 
left part of the track was not really giving that much good grip in the race starts compared to the right one and as we see abhilash why not go take us to the start lights are out and let's go we've got red who's got a good start from there the ferrari of aya of oh, aradya gupta has got a great start sandeep maridu coming up from 12th cat is also up we've made a few people made a few places as we go through turn 1 has there been much of action red still leads it's red from simply from aradya gupta from king james as we see them going down towards the end of sector 1 they'll cross this turn can any overtakes be made so we have seen quite a few overtakes made towards the bottom half of the grid so the top 3 are still the same akash sonavane has made up a place king james made up a place catties made up six places in the space of one sector wicked week wiki's up seven places moto moto down 11 places that was unexpected absolutely yeah i think he was one of the biggest loser at the start he was caught up into some incident at turn 1 chicken so i'm yeah, not really sure what happened so yeah and right now as you see red is leading simply who is in turn leading and simply is trying to make a move on red already showing that he doesn't want to sit back and he just wants to get past red as quickly as possible and like take the lead of the race and set the pace for the whole race for the drivers behind so yeah he is not sitting back and right now we are on board with extreme who is in p13 trying to make a move on sandeep for p12 will he get it done yes he gets it done for the corner 18 he is in the lead before the straight i'm not sure how long he'll be able to do it since the slip stream effect is very good on this track so yeah let's see if sandeep maridu can get that place back from him so yeah that was a pretty interesting race start yeah very interesting it was a range of emotions up and down the grid if there was an emotion meter now you'd see a very different range of emotions some people elated and some people are probably down in the dumps right now i mean i i can only say so much about our championship leader uh, moto moto um not a good start for him but i know his ability and i think he will make up a few places as we are on board with him now he's going i think he's going to take this opportunity make up a few places and just place himself firmly in position get a few strong points because I'll, okay okay that was an incident we'll have uh, the stewards will probably be looking at that we've got some damage i think it is on archit or helium well i'm not really sure but it looks, yeah it is I on archit. It archit yep it's a front wing end plate gone and in such conditions you do not want that the stewards will definitely be taking a look at that as we now look at archit he's got almost no down force he had to cut that chicken and almost lost the car there So Moto Moto probably we will be under investigation by the stewards for the same and we'll move on simply by these and Aradya Gupta setting really good times on their cars 25 4 25 6 fastest lap so fastest lap currently held by the Ferrari of Aradya Gupta on board with simply YT who's in P2 behind red he wants to make a move and he's going to get the slipstream down the chicane as they will now head into it very leveled move he's gotten close there not quite close enough to make a move even at the next turn but he'll want to position his car well because he's got a few overtaking opportunities coming up ahead so he will definitely be on the attack soon enough because he does not want to race in p2 simply a man of perseverance and sheer will i mean yeah simply is not someone who would like to sit behind for longer I mean he he is someone who smartly saves up his battery a lot for the end of the race but doesn't lose an opportunity to attack the driver in front and keep the pressure on so yeah that's one of the good things from him but yeah right now we are seeing dark knight who is putting a pressure on sandeep he lost one place at the start but he is trying to gain back that p11 spot from sandeep maridu let's see if we can get it done on the straight and sandeep is putting up that fight on extreme it looks like extreme got some bad exit through that chicane which in turn helped sandeep to close that gap on extreme right now it's just the conditions that is playing with the driver's consistency because in these conditions it's very difficult to get those lap times again and again because you never know when there is grip and next moment there will be no grip So it's going to be difficult task as we see wicked wiki who is fighting lean sipper who's going to come out on top through the first corner and 
It's Wicked Vicky who gets the place with Lean Zipper running wide. I'm not really sure if it was Wicked Vicky who pushed Lean Zipper wide or it was Lean Zipper who made some mistake there. But yeah, that was quite, or I was that was a bit too close between the drivers. Yeah. So Wicked Vicky, who started 18th, currently running in 8th, has had an amazing race so far. But don't count on that. We're just in lap 4 of 32 for this race. Anything can happen, truly anything. So on board with Dark Knight in the Williams, who is going to be taking this turn. He's got a few cars he can overtake ahead. He's got plenty of battery left. So he's definitely not used that on the last lap. He's recharged it. And he's got about 97% of his ERS left and he's got that overtake ready to deploy whenever he's just about close enough. A good entry. Can he get a fast enough exit? Yeah, that was a decent exit through there. But can he make any overtake in the upcoming turn? As we will now watch him and see he's just too far to make any overtake there but although we're not watching him can we look at simply whitey who's overtaken and taken the lead of the race he's overtaken the mercedes of red coming into the straight and made an amazing move there we were just talking last lap about how he would make that move and he has made that move and that was amazing red will now look to take back the place because he does not want to give it up either so that was certainly an interesting fight as i was looking at the telemetry so good thing we caught it just in time yep well we definitely missed what happened to red and how simply got the chance to close that gap on him but yeah that was definitely good stuff from simply in getting the move done and right now i believe red would not be attacking too much and taking it easy because it's a long race anything can happen so he doesn't want any incidents he just wants to stick with simply and you know get that pace running till he gets a chance to make a move on that guy again and gets his p1 back from him but yeah that was some good stuff from these two i would say with aradhya not too far behind he is just waiting for those mistakes that either one of the drivers in p1 or 2 can make and that would give aradhya with the chance to make an overtake and get that p2 or p1 even a p1 spot from these guys so he'll be looking for that as well there's not a lot of gap between the drivers so it shows that there is not a lot of difference because it's rainy condition literally brings drivers very close so yeah it's gonna be an interesting thing anything can happen so yeah, something to look out for as a few people have said rain is the great equalizer in formula one and so it seems as simply has pulled out a 1.1 great racing on board with Catty right now is behind his teammates for SSJ Sassin and they're playing a very good team game so good points for Aston Martin this race if they can put this up and even make the place very well placed currently we look down to the rest of the grid we've missed another thing as well the second McLaren of Moto Moto who did what they did start is up into 12th place he's made up a few places and right now he's got three two cars in front of him so that's definitely a few more places he's made and right now he's up into 11th as i said so he's now going to push on and keep making places as he goes so don't count moto moto out of a good result yet we know what the driver can do we know that he's got the skill we know he's got the pace and most importantly he's moto moto <laughs> i mean yeah that's one of the things so uh, that's good but again i am not expecting the drivers in front of him to make his overtakes that easy but yeah let's see what's gonna happen because uh, yeah that's one of the facts that motor motor will not leave an opportunity to overtake the cars in front and gain back as many spots as he can and right now as you see there is a safety car i'm not sure what exactly happened on track is there a driver who retired or i don't think there's yeah, it's, I think it's Mohan who made a mistake through the exit of Aqua Minerale and he has literally lost his full front wing. I think that is the cause. That is the biggest, that is the cause for a safety car right now. Yeah, and as we can see, a lot of drivers are pitting. Moto Moto has pitted, Ritesh has pitted, Lean Sippers pitted, Extremes pitted, Sandeep Marido has pitted. So all the drivers who it was the back half of the grid have pitted. Could this be beneficial for them? Because this, I think, if it's an inters race as well, was going to be two stop because new inters can certainly give you a good amount of pace as well as they pass the safety car. The safety car is going to wait for the leaders as uh, simply white and red. Will they take a gamble? They're just on six lap old inters. 
personally i don't think they should they can take it later on in the race you never know how conditions will change extremes got a drive through penalty for speeding under the safety car we're watching mohan getting a front wing fitted back so we've got a first penalty on extreme in the alfa romeo yes and right now it's seven laps into the race and we have our first safety car because of the incident of mohan where he lost his front wing we are not really sure what happened but extreme has a drive through penalty so he must have sped faster in the delta and that would have caused the drive through for this guy so that's really unfortunate because he can't serve it during the safety car so he will have to wait for safety car to end as we see red and aradya gupta into the pits and it got really really close there and not really sure what happened there did red break too much or aradya was unaware of the pit line but yeah that was i hope no one got wing damage because of that and right now we see dark knight wicket wiki okay dark knight just made up a move but wicket wiki also pitting so yeah i think these guys must have missed the pit entry when the safety car came out so they knew that it's better to pit and go out on fresher inter tires because with the, these guys are pitting then i'm expecting that the inter tire life is not too high so yeah, i think that can be a great move to pit instead of staying out on the used tires i think simply is going more of a tire management route here is going to manage his tires make them last a little bit more and pit later on in the race because a safety car a second safety car is very much likely to happen and is very much on the cards as we on board with ira jagupta who after pitting is in eighth place behind red So a new top three. Simply white. He still leads from Akash Navne from King James twenty three, who's in third place. SSJ up into fourth. Aston Martin in fourth and fifth. Tati in fifth. Dark Knight in sixth. So certainly the race has changed a bit. So the safety car is still going to be continuing so far. No uh, information from the FIA whether it's going to come in this lap or not. So we do have another lap behind the safety car. as all the cars will bunch up so we will get them close by and possibly a lot of moves as well that await us there was a bit of a gap between 8th to 9th in the earlier grid while they were racing so exciting times await us once the safety car ends as well the wet race just got a lot more exciting didn't it yeah, definitely and we still have more than 22 laps of racing left so It's still not over. There's a lot of things that can happen between the drivers, with few drivers splitting up the strategies and deciding not to pit under the safety car. So it's definitely gonna be interesting to see which strategy works better. Again, another safety car, like you said, will definitely play a role if it comes out. Otherwise, the drivers who have pitted now have really played a good game and got in the right tire choices to pit for and use that safety car advantage to lose less time in the pits. But yeah, whatever happens, I'm expecting that all the drivers will be making one more stop, no matter if there's a safety car or not. So yeah, it's definitely something to watch out for on who will gain the most out of the situation. But right now, it looks like doesn't look like there can be a lot of stuff happening because again. the drivers on the newer tires will be in a battle of their own once the safety car ends with drivers who have not pitted they'll be trying to save their places from the drivers behind so either it will be a battle between the driver on the newer tires with drivers for all the try trying to defend from all these guys so yeah it's 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 going to be interesting to see yeah truly it will and right now we are still under the safety car situation with final two cars trying to close up to the pack and let's see if they can close up quickly but right now i'm expecting there will be a one more lap of safety car since there's no message of safety car coming in this lap and the final two cars have not caught up yet so drivers will have to sit one more lap behind this car and get that i would not say that rhythm back but get that deciding thing back in their mind on what they have to do after the safety car ends especially the drivers in on the older tires because they'll have something in the back of their mind that 
they are drivers of the faster tires behind so they will definitely try to put up a charge on these guys no but what's also another factor that drivers will be getting very paranoid of is about maintaining tire temperatures in these weathers which will certainly be a rather tedious task for them to do so we see the first top 6 the top 6 all the way from first through 6 are on the older tires and have not pitted we're on board with simply yt our race leader behind the safety car as we can see he's following close by so plenty of things that are running in the minds of the drivers i think maybe one lap at most we have behind the safety car after this so, so after that we'll be able to have a look and see if there's going to be any further change um in terms of safety car is going to come in there is nothing so far once we reach the end or uh, the start of sector 3 we'll be getting a notification if the safety car is going to be coming in this lap and the drivers will go into a frenzy to warm up their tires because that's straight that's where we saw the move for the lead of the race and we can just see another one this time around well i'm not really sure the straw track petted again for another set of enters so it looks like he's trying to keep his tires as fresh as he can before the safety car ends and as the safety car in this lap in this lap miss it so the field would be bunching up now and would be preparing to go for the green lights as simply would be setting the pace till the safety car goes in and will be try will try to pack up the field and will wait for that best opportunity where he can get away from the drivers behind so that they don't have a chance to get him back on the straight so right now as we see lean sipper who got a 5 second penalty for severe collision with helium i think it's just the safety car things where the drivers are too slow to manage the pace and is it simply gone or he is still slow i think here yeah, he is gone here yeah, i don't think he'll be slowing down again and that was a very early restart but a very good one definitely already a, around a second gap for the from the driver behind so that was really good start from him yeah truly we have not seen any changes so far simply chose a very smart way to restart the race as we have seen with most of his races he's a very strategic player there we're on board with red the earl the pole setter who's currently in 7th is behind the williams of dark knight he's going to try and make a move he's not quite close enough for it but he has got the new attires and he has got that advantage so wicket wiki makes a move on to 9th govind sir goes down extreme up to 10th now reminder extreme has to serve a drive through penalty which you cannot serve under safety car conditions so any position he makes now will eventually be nulled and voided by the pit stop he has to make within the next 3 laps so we're seeing some interesting action between dark knight and the ferrari of aradhya gupta so certainly not something that he can make right now the gap has opened up but clean sip has got a 3 second time penalty multiple warnings therein is the has the alpina wicket wiki made a move and yes he has okay we've got extreme who's just gone off he's losing the rear he's losing places on top of that so not a good restart for him he will be just looking to pit try and make up as many places do some good amount of damage control there moto moto up to 10th moto moto has definitely made up places from the back of that he will now try to make a few more moves he'll be hoping for one more safety car so that he can make up a few places maybe at a top 5 finish red up to 5th now so he's made up a good amount of places he is up he's fighting with catty for 4th place and he just about made a place and red's back down to 6th ssj assassin has overtaken him so red on the charge looking to make a move but just couldn't get it done and retain it simply well, yt leads from king james from akash sunavne from catty okay we've got a car off is that that's the lean that's lean sipper he's in 18th he just went off at the chicane and we've got distort rack also gone off for just pitted for new tires if i'm not wrong so unexpected there lack of grip or just lost the rear there i'm not really sure if both lean sipper and distort rack came into a collision but yeah that was definitely something to we should have looked for on how these guys got so Uh, spun there as we see uh, alpin who spun i think it was govin who lost the car attack on minerale so yeah one of the trickiest corners here especially in these conditions so it's kind of understandable that a driver is losing a car there 
But yeah, that's unfortunate for him. And right now we are seeing SSG Assassin who has dropped suddenly to P11 and now is moving. Mot Helium making a move on SSJ. I don't know what happened to him. I think we have missed something. But yeah, he's deciding to pit. There was sudden loss of pace or he must have made a mistake that pushed him down from P5 to P11. But yeah, right now as we see Red who is in P5 and would be trying to rid close the gap to simply as quickly as possible and he's right now putting up an attack on Katie. I think we should go on board with Red to see what's really happening and Red is dropping places. Has he spun? Yes, he has spun. I'm not really sure what happened but he has lost his car. Oh my god, that's really unfortunate. Yep, really sad for our whole set of this race. So He's back down to 12th, but still we've got quite a few laps to go. Not much hope to lose. You can make up a few places. Moto Moto has made up, made it up all the way to 6th. So there is still hope for our whole sitter. Anything can happen. Destroy Drac has retired. SSJ has retired. No, he has not retired from the session. I believe he's just dis disconnected from that. We're on board with Ayaz. We're on board with Helium. Uh, apologies for that. And he's just about behind. Now we're looking at Moto Moto in fifth. The Moto Moto has made up quite a few places there, so he's currently on a surplus from the position that he started. So from seventh to fifth, after falling all the way back, good race from him definitely. He's got Catty Aston Martin ahead of him, and I think he can make a move, but he's just too far, and Catty won't let him do uh, do that so easily. But Moto Moto has got the newer inter tire. The top four are on 13 lap old inter intermediate tires, so they have got a tire deficit there. Definitely, once the faster tire, once the cars on the faster tires, the newer tires with more tire life catch up, it will be interesting to see how quickly they can overtake. How much truly is the performance deficit or the performance surplus you get from the tire age? So far, degradation does not seem to be much on board Moto, with Moto Moto. There is degradation, but not a very noticeable one as we've seen in some other races. Govind SSR gets a three second time penalty, multiple warnings, as well as leave. So, quite a few penalties being dished out, and a bit of a distance there. I think Moto Moto can make a place this time around. The exit was not great for Catty. He's gonna try and make a move around the outside, so he's gonna give a Okay, Moto Moto's got a 3 second time penalty for multiple warnings. I don't know about you, but I think he was pushed a little bit off track there. But we'll leave it up to the stewards. Yeah, I mean, it's up to the stewards today. As you see, Carity losing the car and crashing into the wall through the turn 17. And I am not really sure what happened to him there, but that was really, really unfortunate for this guy. I hope he doesn't get any damage there. But yeah, right now Ritesh getting a 3 second time penalty for corner cutting. And as you see, Helium making a move on Moto Moto. I'm not really sure what happened, but yeah, that slipstream must have a Helium to get that move done on Moto Moto with Helium running in front of Moto and Moto trying to get that place back from him. Will he make a bold move there? And yes, he makes a move and gets the overtake done on Helium, gets back P5 from Helium. And right now, Wicked Wiki is the leading car on pressure tires compared to simply King James and Akash. So, Wicked Wiki has really made this work out in his favor and we're really trying to close the gap to simply. So, let's really see what's gonna happen. Moto Moto running behind Wicked Wiki trying to chase with the 3 second time penalty. Again, it's something that can be reported to stewards if it was unfair or. For whatever reason, it's definitely there's a possibility of getting it removed. But yeah, right now, it's very close on the top. Anything can happen. No driver would leave the opportunity to make a move if the driver in front make a mistake. So you definitely have to be on your toes to keep that car on the right place at the right time. Absolutely. And uh, simply is carved out a very fine 3.3, 3.2 second gap ahead of King James. Akas Sonavane is very close to King James. As we look there, the gap is decreasing over time. As we come into the 16th lap of the race, we're halfway through the session. And we have got a completely changed grid, except for our leaders and everyone after the fourth position. So let's look at a few landmark changes. Wicked Wiki started 18th is in fourth. Moto Moto 
started seventh, went all the way back of the grid, came up to fifth. Aradhya Gupta, who did pit, and that's why he's in seventh. I assume he will make up places once the leader pits, but he's running in a very balanced position. Red, who did spin out on or go into the gravel, either of them. I'm not quite aware of that, but he has made it up to ninth. Daki is in tenth, and Extreme, who started way higher up on the grid is now running in 15th place and it is Seb is in 17th place so yeah a lot of changes on the grid from then okay we've got a few a lot of action going down through here on board with wicked vicky who's just on the gearbox of akasunavane can he make a move as we go on board with him right now he's got some amount of energy left he'll try to harvest a little bit here get it all on the straight catch that slipstream and get the place Moto Moto is trying to get in on this as well. He's got a good amount of battery left. Can we... Moto Moto overtakes Akasunavane. Has Akasunavane lost pace? Okay, he's gone into the pits. He's fitting for a fresh set of tyres. Moto Moto up to fourth. Wicked Vicky up to third. King James second. Simply YT still leads the race. So yep. that was unexpected that we saw him pit. Akasunavane will be pitting right now. But... If you pit early, you've got more laps to make up places. And if you keep waiting for a safety car, you keep waiting for a safety car, we've seen how the strategy goes wrong. You went races where you expect it to be there. Just look at the 2024 Saudi Arabian Grand Prix for Norris or Hamilton, to be fair. Well, yeah, that's one of the things to look out. But again, it's quite, like we discussed, it's highly likely chance that it can be one more maybe a safety car so simply might be thinking the same that there can be one more safety car and then he can just dive into the pits get those fresh rubber out and use those new inter tires to lose as less time as possible in the pits and keep that good position of the race with him because all the drivers who are on newer tires will have to make one more stop maybe later in the race but they'll have to make one so yeah it's very interesting but Akar Sonavane make playing it safe, using those remaining 15 laps on the newer tyres to make moves and not wait anymore for the safety car. So that's just splitting off strategies, anything can work. But yeah, Moto Moto making a move on Wicked Wiki and getting it done and moving to P3. One of the things that we missed to mention is the fact that Helium is one of the drivers who made 14 places and is now running P5 even after getting caught in the incident with Moto. So that's amazing uh, and in line with what Helium can do as well. So yeah, that's really good. Some commendable driving form from all our drivers out there and especially a few stars of the show, Moto Moto, Wicked Vicky and as you mentioned Helium, he really did escape my eye. He's made up 14 places since the start. So certainly an amazing race there on board with Helium right now. He's not very close but he can make a place as he goes through aqua minerale i'm sorry if i pronounced that wrong <laughs> and uh, he's now going to see if he can get a little bit closer as the next few turns are somewhere where you can make an overtake and he has gone closer and i think that's king james who has gone off so moto moto will definitely be taking p2 by the end of this turn i think he's got the pace he's got the battery if i'm not wrong and he does take the place he is p2 so McLaren 1 and 2, can Wicked Wiki make this an opportunity for himself? Will he say that thank you and I'll take P3 from you then? Has he got enough energy? King James is just about hanging on to it. I will have to wait till the end of this turn. King James takes, black, takes back P2 from Moto Moto. So yeah, the place is gone again. Okay, uh, Helium gets pushed a little bit. Wicked Wiki is down to 5th. Helium's up to 4th. So we've got a switcheroo of places there, not quite the traditional one, but just swap their places there. And I thought Moto Moto was in for a good P2, but I think he can do it. After all, King James is on 18 lap old tires. And correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, Lean Safe has got a 5 second penalty for speeding in the pit lane. Our race leader, P1 in Simply YT and P2, King James are the only drivers who have not pitted so far. Uh, yes, uh, and Dark Knight. Who has not pitted so far so that makes three drivers but the pivotal ones simply by and king james have not pitted and as you said they might just be waiting for a late safety car because that will play into their hands 
King James is definitely playing a helping hand for Simply by slowing down the drivers behind and putting them into a battle. In, in turn helping Simply to extend that gap to the drivers behind. It's definitely a good game happening for Simply right now. And I hope he doesn't make any mistake and capitalize on it as much as he can. But yeah, he's still running out there and not pitting. Extending those tires, I don't know how long he'll extend that. But yeah, that he has a decent gap behind him. He can use those tires to extend while making sure that they are not in the puncher territory because at this stage, no one would like to take a chance. And Motomoto Moto right now trying to keep that pressure on King James because he knows the more he stays behind King James, the more ga time simply will have to create that gap. He will try to get past King James as soon as he can. But again, the nature of the track, the conditions won't make it that easy for this guy. So definitely Helium, Wicked Ricky, Moto on a hunt for Simply and will be very eager to get past King James as soon as they can. Yep, certainly. And Simply's gap is just about increasing. I don't know how his how good of a has his tires age his tires are in right now. What's the life left in them? He's got quite a lot of battery, and I'm pretty sure he's smiling right now. We can't see him within his helmet, but I'm pretty sure he's got a wide smile there with 5.0 seconds behind to the next driver. He'll if he does clinch the win, wherever King James does end up in the end, he will certainly go and give him a pat on the back, certainly. As we are on board with Akar Sonavne right now, behind Five Zan, he is he can make a move there. He's got the pace. He, he got the slipstream. He got the better exit. And he has made the move. And he's up into ninth place as he makes that turn. Five Zan down to tenth. Yes, and Akasanavane would now be trying to run away from Fivezan and get attack those drivers that are in front of him. It's a 5 second gap between him and Dark Knight, so he'll have to first reduce those 5 second gaps. So let's see how quickly he can do it. But right now, Motomoto still running behind King James. King James doing some awesome defending stuff right now and not making the life of Motomoto easier and trying to hold him as long as he can thus helping simply to make that gap stagnant and not let it reduce and just as much like the longer motor motor stays behind king james and he's trying to go for a move it's very close he taps king james from behind and that was very unfortunate with helium capitalizing on that along with wicked ricky and taking those spots spots from moto and King James, oh my god, that was aggressive move, I would say, from Moto and also King James trying to cover that and not trying to let Moto buy and turn both of them losing their places. So yeah, that's really unfortunate for the, both of these guys. Yeah, that was an, uh, that was uh, amazing and yeah, I, I, it was kind of heart, you know, it got my heart beating at that point in time. So we're on board right now with Moto Moto who will be looking to make a move. I thought for some reason Wicked Wiki was going to dive into the pit but he has got fairly good amount of tyres and we have seen King James, he's fallen down to 7th as you have mentioned right there and the gap to the leader is now 6.6 .6 seconds, Helium's up into 2nd, Wicked Wiki's up into 3rd, two drivers who started in the bottom half of the grid are now on the podium, so 2-3-4. The ones in second, third, and fourth have had an amazing drive from very weak positions. And Sadiq Maridu says the fastest lap with a 125 1 for his team. Any points you can get will certainly be helpful as he is in the scoring positions. I see Helium making 17 places, Wicked Wiki making 15 places, Moto Moto has made four places based on the telemetry, but we know how it was at the start. Race control, Aradhya Gupta gets a three second time penalty for multiple warnings. So penalties coming out, not quite left, right and center, but it will affect them. Helium's got a penalty and like, I'm not quite aware how long it is. I think it's a three second time penalty. But what is simply YT going to do? I don't think he's going to pit under wet races. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong once again. I don't think it's mandatory you have to pit, right? It's not mandatory to pit in the wet conditions. So yeah, if they want to extend, they can extend throughout the till the end of the race as well. So, but again, the tires need to go to the end as well, no? Exactly, and we don't know the tire life simply has. 
uh, simply might have just been managing and he could make it to the end. And if he does, that will be a commendable race from him. Taking the lead on, I believe it was lap 4 or lap 5 that he took the lead from Red. Okay, we've got uh, Aradhyay Gupta in the pits. He served his penalty and he's got a few changes, I, I believe. He's got a few changes done to his front wing. So probably he's put on a little more downforce. Probably he's taken off a little wing. Uh, could be anything, we're not quite sure what has been changed that remains with the team's discretion. On board with the Alpine of Wicked Wiki, who's behind IRC Helium and Motomoto. Moto. These three are in a battle of their own, as it seems. There's a little, there's quite a good amount of space between there as they go through this chicane. We've got, I believe that is Achit, who's in the pits, 38 seconds behind everyone. Um, plum last so far. It looks like that as Moto Moto goes around the chicane beautifully gets a decent exit not extremely good but a decent exit I don't think he's close enough to make a move but if he does reduce the amount of time like reduce the amount of you know, space he has between the next driver that's Wicked Vicky he can make a move in the straight as he's got a good exit through there he can ride the slipstream and make up a move we are looking at the Haas of we're looking at the Ferrari of Ritesh 9350 Seb and he's behind there. Can he make a move? No, just too far there. Um, so far, very interesting race. Five Zan gets a three second time penalty once again. And that is the Red Bull of Five Zan who's hit the car, who's hit the Ferrari of Ritesh once again. Moto Moto makes a move. He's up into third place. And IRC Helium's got a distance of 1.7 seconds ahead. Ritesh, once again, three second time penalty, corner cutting. Five zone, three second time penalty for multiple warnings. Race control has dished out two penalties in one go. So, yeah, that was. Uh, I'll not. I'll reserve my comments for later. But that was certainly a move that I'll say questionable, politically correct, you know? Yep. And yeah, before I say anything else, we have Ink in live chat of our stream who wants us to say hi. So, hello Ink. And yeah, the race is going good. But moving on to the race now, one of the things I want to say is the fact that Simply now is in one of the toughest positions, I would say. Because we have seen the tires can go to 23 laps and now it's around 7-8 laps of the race remaining. I would say 8 laps of the race remaining and Helium and Moto both are on 17 lap old tires so they kind of know that they don't have to pit again if Simply is able to extend those tires then definitely they can extend those tires for the remaining part of the race and take it to the end so Simply is in a tough spot right now if he should really pit if his tires can go to the end or not so it's literally game on yeah, that's exciting. I don't know what he's going to do. He's thinking, okay, I should maybe pit it earlier or maybe he's just got a plan in his head. You know what? I'll manage these tires. I'll take it to the end and I'll finish the race. I'll not pit at all. But the gap is falling. 4.7, 4.6 last lap. It was 6.4 if I'm not quite mistaken. So he's lost a good amount of time just to a driver with 6 lap newer tires. IS Helium on 18 lap. Older Inters. As we are looking, he's trying to close the gap to simply, simply will be looking to play a defensive game because he keeps, if he keeps pushing, remember what happened at the last race, it was pandemonium in Qatar as we had cars losing, getting punctures left, right and center. So he definitely does not want a repeat of that, a puncture in the wet, certainly not something you would want. He's on board with Sandeep Maridu. Who's running in eighth place behind his teammate Akash Sonavne? So a good haul of points, a fairly okay good haul of points for Alpha Tori here. And King James, who's also not pitted, running in sixth. Red, our pole sitter, running in fifth. Wicked Vicky in fourth. Moto Moto in third. IRC in second. Uh, sorry, Helium in second. And Simply in first place. And the gap's fallen down to 3.5 seconds as we see. Simply will now be looking. <laughs> In his mirrors, as Helium will approach, he's saved up quite a bit of battery, so that's smart of him. So we've got six laps left, and we don't know who will win right now, Tanish. Can you with certainty say who will win? Well, it's definitely the most difficult task as of now to predict who's going to win at this stage. But definitely there's one thing, with our, right now Radhya got the fastest lap of the race at 24.6. So he is pushing a lot with and trying to gain as many places as he can in those final few laps. But that 10 second gap might not help him. 
compared to the car in front. So yeah, in the meantime, he, the good thing is that simply though the gap lap times are, the d gap between him and helium is reducing if helium is not able to get his penalties removed then simply around has a buffer of 6 seconds which he can use to win the race and not lose places because yeah helium got a 3 second penalty along with moto moto so simply doesn't need to push a lot he just needs to keep his car on the track because there is no point of quitting now until unless there is a safety car and even if there is a safety car I don't think it would help a lot so the best part would be for simply to stay out and try to manage those tires to the end of the race which is something extraordinary that we would see today King James in P6 is following the same strategy right now but yeah Helium knows that he if he wants to win the race He'll have to close this gap down as quickly as possible and create that 3 second gap on simply in case he doesn't have anything to get those penalty removed. So yeah, it's, 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 it's anything can happen at this point. I won't even rule out Moto Moto for the win in case simply makes a mistake with his tires with tire life going literally close to 27 laps at this point. It's an air of ambiguity out there with quite a bit of moisture as it seems from Imola. So a very exciting race so far, it has uh, tra traversed us through and we've got a very much changed grid from what we got when we had started as on board with Akas Sonavne behind King James and Akas Sonavne has got the tyre advantage. Oh, he was close about there but he just lost the car there. We saw a little bit of a snap from the Red Bull as well. So no places to be made right now. The gap between Simply and Helium is staying very, very stable. It was around 3.5 seconds the last lap round, 3.3 seconds this lap. So not a huge difference. I think Simply is pushing, but he also needs to take into consideration that his tyres have been truly worn and they have been made use of fully. Towards the mid part of the race, I was thinking that this could be a strategy, you know, just um, go to the end of the race, don't pit at all. But I was rather skeptical to say it out loud because anything can happen as we see Red gets a 3 second time penalty, multiple warnings. So he's run, currently running in 5th and he's got a decent gap to King James so it doesn't look like he'll be losing any positions. But the podium can certainly change because both the drivers on the podium places except our race leader have got penalties. Well... Definitely, it's one of the things to look out for, but uh, one thing I would like to say is that simply would be thanking King James as well for holding the drivers behind him for longer, which in turn held him to stay in front for longer with that 5 second or 6 second gap and not let the drivers on the fresher tyres close in very quickly. So he would be one of the thanks he would like to put to King James for this thing, for if he wins the race today. So. <laughs> Yeah, that's one of the things that will, I'm expecting simply would be thinking of. And right now as you see Helium who has closed the gap down to 2 seconds. Which is reducing quite fast on the straight. It looks like Helium is running a bit, a setup which is more inclined towards the straight line. Because of the time that he was able to get out on that straight on simply. Which in turn started to increase as we approach the cornering. So... Yeah, it's, it's a setup difference as well that's causing that lap time difference. But the pressure, the 6 or 7 lap younger tyres doesn't look like they're helping Helium a lot in that quest to close down that gap on Simply and help him create that 3 second gap on him. So I don't want to jinx it, but right now Simply looks as a good contender for the win today. Sim okay, we've got a pass off. Mohan MR is off at the last turn. He's gone off and I think he's in the ball Akas on Avane back man King James once again. What is interesting is that Simply is literally playing chess in the wet at Imola. He's got the oldest lap, he's got the oldest tyres of the grid along with King James. And if you notice on the straight, he is dumping his ERS and he's maintaining that gap and in the corners he's harvesting it yet again. So a smart move from Simply, he's not using his... Um, you know, battery too much as he, you see he will complete his use of his ERS on the straight. He'll keep that gap. So the gap falls. Yes, it is falling. 
but not by a huge amount of margin just by a couple of hundreds just by a couple of thousands and he'll make back all that energy in the corners so a man playing chess in the wet while racing at emela i am going to give him a clap from the comps box well done simply well played two laps to go then yeah carry on so and that is simply yt and i think he's behind archit and he's going to lap him so blue flags there for archit who has to give way to simply our race leader and the difference between simply and helium is just 7 tenths now so two laps anything can happen moto motos just behind okay the gap is increased about 7 tenths right now moto moto four tenths away from helium wicket wiki's got a very he uh, has got a sizable gap between moto moto and himself so unless something out of the blue happens i don't think that he will be on the podium today so yeah wicket wiki certainly has had a great race helium has had an astounding race and moto motos has had a very impressive recovery drive to say the least so certainly uh, a race to remember as all irc races are with their own flavor their own differences and their own unique you know okay we've got a red bull off that is king james who's gone off and are those tires now showing their real age simply will be quaking in his boots in his cockpit as he sits right of king james the second time penalty so simply will now be looking that okay let's play it safe just one lap to go until he can get the win on board with moto moto who's using his ers all the way there i r c helium he's just behind the race leader in simply can he make a move simply is trying to play it as safe as possible defend strongly moto moto is keeping his distance he knows if i get too close there's too much at stake i can easily get a win if these two get into a kerfuffle and that's what i think he's expecting to happen simply two tens away from helium can he keep defending because right now to the end of this lap he certainly can but in the last lap he's got a huge straight He's got a straight where the other drivers will get the straight line speed. Okay, and this got a huge movement, and I think it's Moto Moto who has lost his front wing, if I'm not wrong. Simply by the 10 second time penalty, Moto Moto five second time penalty for corner cutting. I see Helium in third. Who's that who's lost his front wing? It's simply YT. He's got a 10 second time penalty, and the race has changed dramatically. It's turned all the way. on its head yet again in the last the closing part of the race and he's into the wall oh my god that was unexpected i i am i have seriously no words to say on whatever happened there that was some serious fight for the lead but again it didn't out the way the drivers wanted the biggest loser there was simply who had nothing to do who couldn't help it but that closing down the gap that moto had to overtake there that was just i mean there are no words to comment on whatever happened i think that is something that the stewards would definitely look out for but the mclarens coming together along with the williams of helium it literally had made the race it literally ended the race for simply with moto moto and helium still in the battle for p1 and 2 but definitely after this there will be something that stewards will have to look out and check out for and give penalties based on whatever happened there it looks like every time motor motor was involved in one of the crucial overtakes there was some incident i don't know why <laughs> <laughs> that's a interesting coincidence i'm pretty sure mclaren will discuss it in their post race brief and simply will be thinking about it i feel really bad for simply he's driven an amazing race he is down in fifth but he will certainly get a few points uh, that penalty still is to be decided by the stewards so we can't say anything about that let the stewards take the decision on it and as we come down to the final straight moto moto he drove an amazing race on some time penalty so he'll move back to third irc he sorry helium takes the win wicked wiki all the way from back of the grid to second moto moto third red comes into fourth simply where will he finish given his position With a 10 second time penalty, I think yeah he has finished. Uh, looks to be seventh currently as Alpatari has finished fifth and sixth. Akash Sunabri and Sandeep Maridu not quite seen, but a good race from them. Aradhya Gupta who was hoping to make up some places started third, finished eighth. Extreme in the Alpha Romeo lost the year there, but 
he can get a few crucial points there and dark knight will be finishing in 10th place that was an exhilarating race i need a drink of water to tanish i think you do too <laughs> i mean seriously the whole race was something like every second there was something happening on the track especially the final few moments of the track where there the, there was a there a full change of the top 3 positions so again a lot of unfortunate things happening for a lot of drivers and all, as well as the fortunate things that happened for a few with helium getting the race win out of all that fight so yeah with helium getting a driver of the day after starting so down on the grid and finishing on the top so definitely the things that will be looked by the stewards but for now we have helium as a race winner with wicket wiki in p2 and moto in p3 so i really don't know what i'll say about that but yeah and if i talk in terms of commentators perspective and or viewers pers- perspective i think that was one of the interesting races i have seen till now so the interesting race then great to see that definitely it's one of the most i would say i haven't seen such a late change in the league race at in irc league so that was something that i didn't expect so that was really sad but yeah again any any comments on the race any special comments from your end abi nothing really i think in the last lap we have summarized the entire race incredibly well and it's a flip of a coin very simply put i that's that's how i'll put the race uh they've got a few i've got a few stand out performances i've got a few drivers who i have admired their racing today no matter whether they finished in a good position or not because it's not always the position that matters but it's how you drive uh that's also very important to see because eventually you will get that position although the position does matter very important if i do say the position doesn't matter our race winner <laughs> helium who deserved that position i will be turning that down so definitely won't say that interesting race incredibly interesting race i'm running out of vocabulary i need to buy a thesaurus yep and i think it's time to get the drivers in for the podium interviews well i believe we'll definitely have a lot of questions to ask these guys so let's just wait till we have everyone in before we can jump on to the podium interviews so for the time being we'll be switching on and waiting for the drivers to be in i think we have everyone with us i think we have helium and moto with us in the commentary box we're just waiting for wicked wiki to join us for the podium interviews and i'll just take a few minutes a few seconds to get him here so abi why don't you start with our race finisher today race winner today yeah. i'm sorry race winner today <laughs> so let's have a look let's talk with our race winner today helium helium starting all the way from the back of the grid you made your way up despite a pandemonium of race that took place uh, you made a very you made a few smart moves you pitted early on you played a very safe race and uh, took it all home took it took the checkered flag at the end uh, what do you have to say did you enjoy the race or were you in a bit of a you know sweaty mood despite it raining uh, okay lots of questions but uh, <clears throat> i'll just say like i think the race is, was enjoyable uh, uh but uh, yeah at the very end for some reason i'm able to hear my own voice but uh, yeah at the very end what the mclaren guys did uh, i think that just basically countered their whatever wanted whatever they wanted to do actually don't know what they were doing to, to be very honest and uh, uh yeah it was pretty it was a sweaty race obviously i had to go from like 19th to first <clears throat> and the safety car did not really help my case uh obviously most of the people just pitted uh, in the safety car and i went back a few places as well there were some incidents with moto which made me go back but yeah overall the race was great uh, i think it was a bit controversial at the end if you caught that on the stream or not 
but uh, yeah I, I guess those two words are gonna have a long day today and at least for this long week it, i'll say yeah well enjoy the virtual champagne and congrats that was an amazing race Thank from you. you and i'm pretty sure you're thrilled being on the top step of the podium so Thank great you. job helium well done scintillating race i am sorry to cut you off abby i just have one question helium if you are here sure uh could you give me your pov of that incident with uh, moto and simply on what exactly happened with you what was the exact situation there because i saw i think you were really close behind simply through the exit of aqua minerale and you had to i think lift to stay there not crash into simply and suddenly because of that moto getting a better exit was trying to make a move and i don't know what exactly happened after that i think what happened was kid was trying to imply his brain more than he has the ability to uh, obviously i'm talking about simply so obviously i got a good exit out of that minerale i was right behind simply and uh, i think the little guy does not know how the physics of the game works if you try to break test me while i'm on full throttle uh, right when i'm behind you it won't really have an effect on my car as much as it would have on its own which is what happened he braked in the middle of the that around 200 250 meters before that corner the next corner and uh, obviously my car bumped into him because why would you brake in a full throttle section i was not expecting it and his car turned to the left and hit moto gave him a penalty he got a 10 second penalty i think he lost his wing also and then he obviously has the balls to say some colorful language to me in the chat but again i know that these are some little kids who don't really have i mean most probably their brain is in their legs in their knees somewhere thrown away so yeah uh, it's fine for me but uh, <clears throat> yeah i think uh, it was something that was very very dumb if they well, were on well, vc at would, the same time i would like to say i think yeah i mean i get your point i think uh, that's some kind of a weird thing that, that. guy was that, not in the same vc as that's, me that's that's i would uh, th- then okay, okay not the photo moto obviously then I, I, that's why i didn't include you i didn't think it was because of yeah i have lot to say well, about it well well that, that, this is something that definitely yeah. can be discussed later but yeah the heat of the yeah, moment okay. is I definitely think, uh, not the best part uh, of it so yeah off now, i guess Again. you want words from moto for that you know yeah, so, yeah. for thank now you. congratulations on the race win thank you for joining helium thank you bye uh so moving on to moto uh p3 finisher if i'm not wrong so yeah moto would you like to give us a pov on how was your race what exactly happened at the lap 1 and how did you lose so many places at the start yeah i spun on the start so that is on on me i think i broke on the grass so lock the rear is instant for on this game of it so yeah i knew i had a lot to do after that um and then trying to make my way up the field i went for a very ambitious move and i'll be honest it was not on the cards at all so i would take whatever penalty i get for that but yeah that was a very rash move which i made and i think i sent one of the cars to the outside uh, to the ampo hopefully i think luckily they didn't be enough but yeah very proudly uh, overtake for me if i would i would add that but anyways uh, i just put my head down after that and try to get some more passes in uh Yeah, things were just going well. Tires were falling off, and simply was doing a good job in this time. You know, I was surprised that he was keeping pace. And then last four laps or so, his tires finally said goodbye, and we were catching by a second and a half or more per lap. The last three four laps. So then, come the last lap, um, the exit of Aqua Minerale, I knew Helium would sort of try to go for a cutback, so I also tried to take the same line, turn in really late, and you know, got a really good exit. If you saw on screen, if it was captured. So yeah, I went to the left side. and simply was in my so we weren't in vc at this time so in my mind he was doing an amazing job of blocking helium and i would i was just going to i thought he'd just let me go around the outside and even anyways i had a 3 second time penalty so he would have won the race either way had he done that but no of course he decided to do something else and brake check helium apparently or uh, i don't know in, incidentally he tried to do that and then well what helium said happened i guess he he brake he brake checked him and then Yeah, his car Constantine had into his own car, and then he went left and took me out. So I was just trying to break in the straight line. And the moment I had that bit of contact, it put me off to the curbing, and 
I just uh, yeah, I lost my ring by hitting the wall and then I had to cut the chicken and I picked up a five second as well. Uh unwarrantedly, even though I had slowed down, but the game still yeah. So well, yeah, I've no clue, honestly. I'm gonna have to look at it again a few more times because I I'm really puzzled even now as to what that decision was to go on the brakes or even move up under braking. I don't know what it was, but yeah, it just ruined a perfectly good result for McLaren and yeah, uh, I've honestly no clue what that was in the end. Yo, well, your POV was definitely captured on the stream. So, stewards will really have something to look out for to see if it was really a brake check or whatever happened between Simply and Helium, which in turn caused you incident, like connected you in the incident as well. So, there'll be something to look out for. But again, a good recovery drive. Good one, P3 today. So, good job, Moto. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. So, Abby, would you like to go through the interview with Wicked Wiki RP to finish her? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Wicked Wiki, so once again, a uh, great recovery drive for, for you from the back of the grid. Smart moves, played it safe, uh, took it well towards the end, and you managed to stay out of trouble. So, what would you say? What was your entire race was like in your head? Was it a roller coaster? Or were you like, yep, I've got this, I'm going to make it all the way to the end? Yeah, first of all, congrats to Moto and Helium for the podium. And talking about the race, like uh, in Kohli, I invalidated my last lap. I was like 1.3 up uh, until the sector 2. <laughs> then I knew there was going to be chaos at turn 1, especially at Imola and in the wets. So I braked early. I escaped all the chaos. The cars were going here and there. And then... I think after the first safety car, after China, I learned that in the wets, if there's a safety car, you have to box. So I bo uh, I boxed just after the safety car. And then there was a good battle with Moto, Helium, and uh, Red, I guess. Uh, yeah, and I felt like Moto had a little bit, uh, he was a little bit quicker than me. So I was not fighting too hard with him, unlike other people on the grid who, like, who, they don't uh, recognize the pace deficit and still they fight too hard. But yeah, it's racing. And then, then uh, I think in the later stages when Moto passed me, uh, I was like, now these guys are gonna, these guys are gonna gap me. And I was making a few mistakes here and there. Then at the end, I saw my map and they were catching Simply. And then I, uh, then I realized like something's gonna happen for sure because Simply was on older tires, like from he was on the same tires from lap one. And something did happen, and I was like, okay, and I can get a free podium or P two. So yeah, that's pretty much about it. Yep, pretty smart thinking on your end. And yeah, playing that way out, it did help you out in the end, didn't it? Brilliant race from you, finished on the podium, P2. Great points for the team as well. Uh, I was watching you. Out. Yes? Uh, I didn't get you. Were you asking me something? No, no, no. Just, oh, okay, uh, okay. My views, yeah. So, great race for you on that note. Good points for the team. And yeah. Another podium trophy for you to keep in your cabinet there. Anything yeah. you have, Tanish, to ask him? I'll, I don't have some stuff, but yeah, all I can do is congratulate you for good drive, keeping it steady and not getting involved in a lot of incidents. <laughs> Present turn finishing in P2. So yeah, good job. Yeah, thanks, man. So, Abby, I think it's time to end the stream. So, yeah, thanks a lot, boys, for joining Ooh. us today. We'll see you again at the same time next weekend on Sunday. So till then, stay safe. Bye-bye. Good night.